So in this video, I'm going to talk about what are known as the Kinter file dialogues, right? What is a Kinter file dialog? Well, a file dialog is essentially something that you can use to open a file or look for a file location. And when you open that file, it doesn't actually do anything with the file, it just gives you the location of the file. And it opens a little window um, where you can look for a directory or several directories and find a file and get its location. And that's what it's returned. So, probably thinking, how do we make one? Well, we're going to put file lock, which is just short for file location. We're going to make a file dialog here. In fact, I'm actually going to have to import the dialog, thinking about it. So we're going to say from Tekin to import file dialog. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, even though I've imported all from here, it just doesn't default import file dialog. So I actually have to import it separately. Doesn't matter. Anyway, and then we put file dialog dot ask open file name. Okay. And we need to start an initial directory, which we'll call, which is called initial dir as a parameter. And this basically asks, where do you want to start from? What folder do you want to start from? So I could put slash c slash uh, lovely folder slash whatever, right? I could put that if it existed and it would take me to that directory. And that's the directory we would start in. I'm just going to put slash because that should open our main directory, whether that would be C or whatever else outside of Windows. I don't know what it would be out of Windows. Don't really use non Windows stuff. We're going to give it a title and we're just going to call it, I don't know, select a file. All right, quite simple. And we need one more argument. It's actually, well, one more parameter, should I say. And it actually takes several arguments okay so you're actually going to need one uh, parenthesis and inside this parenthesis um you can basically ask for different file types and sort of a title to represent that you're asking for that file type but only that file type will be displayed and for every file type you're asking for um you need a per parenthesis okay and you need to separate each parenthesis by a comma Okay, so let's say we want to get every single file type, right? We'll put all files. And so this will be like a label saying what files we're accessing, what types of files we're accessing. Or you can put any label you want, really. And then here we'll put star, meaning we accept any file name. So any name like the Kinder, doesn't matter if it's called Daniel. Maybe the file's called my school report. Doesn't matter. We're not looking for a specific file name. And then we put a dot. And then the second parameter is what type of extension. We put star. And the star basically means all. We accept all. So we're saying we accept all names. Doesn't matter if it's a really garbled up stupid name. And we accept all file types, whether that be JPG or PNG or .txt, whatever, right? And then in our second uh, parenthesis, we're going to put, you know, I don't know, JPG files, okay? And we're just going to put that we want any named file that's of the extension JPG after the dot. So the first is what's the starting name, and then the dot symbolizes the dot extension type, okay? Quite simple. So... Let's have a look what it actually does in practice. Let's open that up. So you see that it's opened the main window. And as soon as the main window is opened, this file dialog has also opened, right? And it's opened in C. It's opened in the main directory, essentially, because we just used a slash there. And I'm going to open documents. And I'm going to open... Python tutorial, intermediate to Kinter. Okay. These are all Python files. They've got the .py extension. Now, here you can see our first argument, all files, 
that's the uh, that's the button, that's the option that we're using. And the first of your items in parentheses is always going to be option. Just to let you know, I could delete this JPG files thing and just have one parenthesis and just have one argument. But, you know, because I wanted two arguments, I needed two parentheses. Okay. And then I can look for JPG files. Now, because these are all Python files, as soon as I look for JPG files, I've got no matching items. Now, these are all coincidentally uh, Python files, but if I had any other file type, it would show here um, because I allowed to look at all files. Okay, this allows me to see all files, right? So let's get a file. So we got Kinter file dialog. Let's open it. Um, you see that we don't get anything. Well, it's not that we don't get anything. What's actually returned um, as file lock is essentially just the file location. But we've just saved the file location to the variable, but we haven't actually done anything with it. Which is why you don't see any output. So, let's uh, let's see some output. Let's see how we can get this file location for ourselves. Well, all I've got to do really is print file lock. And that will give me the location. Okay, so let's run this again. We just check on the screen here because I'll come up there and we'll get, yeah, we'll get documents. Why not? We'll get Python tutorial, intermediate, Kinter. We'll get that. And it's printed out. You can see that it's printed out there. C slash user slash user slash documents slash Python tutorial slash intermediate, blah, 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 blah. So it's given us the entire file location. We could copy and paste this and do something with it. Or, well, you know, if we had another package that did something with Python files, we could use this variables and argument for it to open it or whatever. Like I said, I'm not going to teach you how to do that. I'm teaching to Kinter. I'm not teaching you how to open files with other packages. But this is how you get the file locations with a file dialog, right? Now, it's kind of inconvenient to just open the window and suddenly you've got this file dialog asking you for to find a file right so you're probably better off putting it into a button i know you've seen me put things into buttons a million times but well it is what it is right so we're going to define i don't know make file locator that's that's what we're going to call this function right and we're going to tab all of this so that it's part of the defined function and we're just going to make a button that calls that function well, so we're just going to say button within window text is equal to get yeah, file location and then command is equal to file locator All right dot pack don't really care how it comes onto the screen because then it doesn't just automatically load we can just click a button and we get it right Get a file location and now it opens right now it opens that's a bit more convenient and i open the python tutorial immediate kinter kinter file dialog and we get it there on the screen that's it that's all there is to file dialogs if you want to learn how to open files you'll have and do things with files you'll have to learn that separately because i'm only teaching to kinter anyway hope you enjoyed thank you for watching